Welcome back to KTV Knife Television, everybody. Sorry I've been away. Last couple of months, I'm just all over the place. All right? Um, but I'm back. All right? I'm back. And I plan on getting back into, you know, night reviews, movie tributes, cosplay, music tributes, the whole nine yards. All right? So, uh... Sorry I haven't been around, but um, I think I'm back now, okay? All right, just busy with traveling and the grandkids, and um, I got a free day today. Guys, all right, this is a very important video, and I'm glad you're here. My good friend, I call him Aussie Pete, all right? Aussie Pete Morrissey, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Greg Foster, thank you from the bottom of my heart. My two buddies from Australia, they collaborated on sending me this piece of history. All right? It now resides with Cowboy Seabob. But eventually, it's going to go in a museum because this is really where it belongs. Okay, let's talk about this fine little piece here. Well, if you've read the heading, you know that it's the Australian MA-66. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. This is priceless. So, uh, three, four years ago, I did a video on this Condor Australian machete. Alright, I think it's called the Condor Australian Army machete. Killer can canvas sheath I mean, this was the closest machete slash Golak I could get to replicate the MA-66, which was issued to the Australian Army during the Vietnam War, all right? So, I figured, hey, this is pretty awesome. This'll do. Mm -mm. And then I went ahead and got the Martindale number two. Another great machete, but it's not the real deal. Well, Pete just did a little soul searching and said, I want to send my MA-66 to Cowboy Seabop. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I got to be gentle with this sheath. This is old. All right. This comes with a shoulder strap it's canvas uh, I just got to be very delicate with it I'm trying to preserve it as best I can all right because as I said this is like 57 58 years old here she is the MA 66 and there's even like an arrow insignia to say that it was government issued you won't be able to see that but it's marked right here. It's like an arrow pointing up. MA-66. This was made in the 60s. You know, 1966. <laughs> and issued to the Australian troops. Now, this machete, the Condor, is pretty darn similar with the uh, MA-66 being about an inch longer, and I think it's because of the handle itself. All right, because the blade seems accurate. It's just, Yeah, it's definitely the handle. I mean, this is really, really, really something to have. I mean, Pete tells me, you know, go ahead. It was built, you know, for use. You know, this thing's pretty sharp. He wants me to go out. You know, and hack up some branches and some sticks, whatever. Listen, I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. All right? Let me fawn over it for a while. Right? This is truly a piece of history right here in my hand. I wish I could, like, take the scales off and say, tell me a story. Is there a story in here? Tell me about your journey. You know, who, who owned you first? 
you know, I mean, seriously, this is built like a tank. And uh, maybe one day I'll use it, but maybe not. We will see. So if you guys, if anybody out there has this, the MA-66, all right, let me know. Comment below, all right, because I'd like to know more information about it. All right, and who knows, maybe this was yours. I don't know, you know. <laughs> no name on it. Does that sheath look familiar? Anyone? Anyone? So this has definitely been traveling. You know, it has been traveling. Oh, Lord. But if you guys are seriously interested in something like this but can't get the MA-66, I seriously highly recommend the Condor, Australian Army Machete. All right? This thing's pretty awesome. All right? I've done videos on these in the past, three, four years ago. I've been obsessed with this. You know, um, I was born in 66, so this means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, plus my band is called Route 66, but we're just getting started. So don't say nothing yet until we get our gigs booked. All right. It's just a three piece band. And check this out. All three of us were born in 66. So I took the name Route 66, the classic, you know, highway. Uh, but I'm spelling it different. It's not R-O-U-T-A 66. Our band is R-O-O-T. 66 established 66 anyway I digress I apologize guys if you see uh, Pete or Greg in the comments you know give them a thumbs up and a, and a hello from Cowboy Seabop thank you so much guys for doing this for me I will treasure this he sent me some other things too but it's more personal one of the best packages I ever opened my friend all right I am over, over the moon, and I ain't ever coming down. All right, guys, stay tuned. Again, some more knife reviews and uh, knife expos. I still have a bunch of Bowie knives for sale. So uh, I'll be talking to you guys in the next couple of days. Uh, that's it. All right, just a quick hello, shout out, and uh, you guys know how I'm feeling today. Whew. All right, stay Gold, pony boy. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.